Hey everybody, Brian over at Strong Tower Training, Strong Tower Fitness. Um, excited to talk to you today about four steps for creating sustained change. So um, I'm going to jump into it after and real quick, just give a shameless plug for this book, Legacy. So this book is about uh, actually a rugby organization called the All Blacks. You may have heard of them. Um, I think the winningest program in rugby um, team out of New Zealand. And so it talks about uh, leadership principles in this book and how to create sustained change, how to create change that's positive. Morning, Patty. I love. Um, so creating sustained change, whether it's personal, whether it's professional, and both on the individual level and the organizational level. So excited to share four um, steps with you for creating change. A pretty critical season, so we're coming into the holidays. Um, a lot of times people get into the holiday season and their health, lifestyle, personal care habits kind of go by the wayside. And some people will come into January feeling like they got hit by a train. Um, and then some people that can do some of this stuff that we're going to talk about uh, come into January feeling fired up about the new year. So we want you to be the latter, obviously, this year. Um, so in order to do that, um, my nifty whiteboard, get a little closer because I got excited here at the bottom and started to jam a bunch of stuff in, as you can see. So the first step is awareness. There needs to be a realization that you're in a situation that calls for a change. Um, the really cool thing about this in our business that we see application is people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s that are in a situation where they realize something needs to change. I need to change my health, my wellness, my balance, my strength, whatever it is. And we have 20 years of research supporting us in saying with confidence, hey, you can do that. Like positive change is not something that it's too late because of your age. You can still do that. So wherever you're at, even if you're in your 20s, obviously you got plenty of time to do this stuff. Um, the second step here is we need a strong, inspiring picture of the future. So with that, there needs to be a focus on leadership and growth because leadership and growth focus is going to increase your capacity and it's going to increase your capability. Um, another really important uh, concept here is writing down your vision. So writing down that picture, what it looks like specifically. So if it's as an individual, if it's as an organization, write it out get a clear picture, get laser focused, know what that's gonna look like, because that's something um, that we need to continually come back to and inspire us and kind of keep the carrot in front of the horse, so to speak. So the third thing here is the ability to change over the long term. So in order to change over the long term, you have to be willing to learn. Um, so growth, requires a learning focus and sustained change over the long haul. Um, what keeps us engaged and keeps us excited is staying continually in that process of learning as you go through your habit change. The last step, maybe the most important, maybe obviously the most important, um, once you have the awareness, the inspiring picture, and then the focus on changing over the long haul, we need to come up with some bite-sized action steps. So action is going to start producing results. Um, and whether you're aware of it or not, we want to just kind of really quick bring your awareness to the fact that you are right now, today, tomorrow, the next day, you are taking action. Whether that looks more like a negative habit or a positive habit, negative action or positive action, um, might as well start doing this stuff because it's going to move you to where you want to get. Uh, otherwise, you're going to wind up at a destination wondering how you got there and wishing that you could get the last 5, 10, 20 years back because you're not pleased with the destination. So um, focusing on the little steps that get you there is going to be really important because doing those little steps right is going to be what's going to start to create momentum in your habit change. And then that is going to create habit. So um, small actions done daily will shift your habits, whether those are good habits or bad habits. 
So if we think about um, just an example of somebody that decided one day, oh man, I'm tired after work. I've been in this gym habit and I'm kind of like maybe at a plateau. I uh, don't feel like I have a ton of momentum, but um, maybe it has been a habit. We just maybe needed to tweak some things, but instead the person's like, oh, there's this new show on. My couch looks really good right now. I'm going to order some pizza or maybe, you know, I got some snacks. I'm just going to chill, hang out on the couch. And what we need to be really careful about is that one day can turn into two days, it turns into three days, that turns into five years, that turns into 10 years. And then we look back and go, huh, you know, my doc is on me. I got some red flags popping up in the health category, whether it's physical health, mental health. Um, and I know that something that started as a snowball, maybe five, 10 years ago, on the flip side, like maybe we're learning this stuff and ready to apply it. And you're ready to start with your vision, take some action steps to start snowballing yourself towards that vision. Um, we've seen people come in and whether they feel like it or not on a given day, a given month, given months, a given year, they start to create this positive snowball and they're like, oh my goodness, I'm healthier now than I was five years ago. Um, as you age in your 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, 20 years ago, we thought it wasn't supposed to work that way, but it absolutely can. So um, be encouraged. Your little daily actions are going to create your habits. Your habit is going to affect your destination. So guys, hope that helps. You can drop comments if you want. Um, thanks for sharing the post. If you have friends on Facebook, YouTube, wherever else that you think this can help, appreciate the shares. Appreciate everybody hopping on today.